Well, there was a time where we built all this cool shit to go four-wheel riding, and there was a homeless... He was an uncle of mine, and he would uh, sleep in the fort for weeks at an end, and the wood just kept accumulating in the garbage because we'd throw so much garbage, but now I've got it down to this. A little storage thing. I guess we'll keep that because it's pretty sturdy. Unless I disassemble it intact so I could use the wood and... Some kind of other application. I don't want to ruin. I don't want to just use it. I can use it as firewood, I guess, and maybe just keep that storage bin. But all these things are gone, and when the summer comes, you won't know anything was here. This whole area I'm standing on was nothing but fucking wood, random four by fours, two by fours, fencing wood like this, uh, indoor hardwood laminate, cheap floors like that. You got two tarps in there. You got spare coats. You got spare blankets. And I'm bringing, there's this kid who's homeless, I'm bringing him a fucking sleeping bag. But my days are numbered, man. I didn't get a stimulus check. My girl didn't get her stimulus check. Everybody's fucking worried. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Are, you know, are we going to get evicted? I got a kid. My fuck, I just, oh, man. It's, it's really bad. And trust me. I need a miracle. The, the fucking... The Toyota Sienna. The fucking... The old lady was driving it. And the fucking... Uh, what's it called? It seized. The... Um, the wheel bearing. And it's freaked her out. And then... She slowed down abruptly. And a car sideswiped her. Pushed her into the median. And then he took off, naturally. And now here we are with no vehicle, which hinders any attempt to make money. And I'm, br I'm bringing everything that's useful out of, my, out of my basement. And I'll go put it underneath the deck because half of it's shit like motor oil, transmission fluid, starter fluid. Shit like that that just takes up so much fucking space. Like this sleeping bag. If I am to have to fucking move, at least let the fucking outdoors be free storage. Because I built that sh I built that fucking deck. It's waterproof as fuck. It's got a layer of tar paper. Three layers of wood going the opposite direction. And you can put whatever you want under there. It'll be just fine. So... And it's shit that nobody is going to steal. Nobody comes back here unless they're homeless. And I mean like down and out homeless. You know what I mean? Nobody comes back here unless they're down and out homeless. Because I'm not like... I'm not like downtown Chicago. Chicago's such, such a big city from north to south. That when you get on the southern tip of it, you're in no man's land. This is no man's land. You see anywhere somebody can panhandle? I mean, the, the closest panhandle spot where people choose to panhandle and they, they get allowed to do it, and there's signs now all over where they panhandled, no panhandling will arrest you, was, <laughs> I want to say, two and a half miles, maybe two miles from here. You don't want to live in these woods and go panhandle two miles. Now, say there was a drug spot where you could buy drugs, like... Which I'm sure they can. That's not the problem. The problem is they can, there's blood on the ground. Something happened back here. Let's follow the blood trail. I think that's where it goes cold. As I noticed it earlier. There's a little bit of scatter. Anyway, I don't know. Some, something got torn apart and was reeling from its injuries. Or something was being drugged to be eaten one or the other. Or a fight. So, there's not a lot of uh, people back here. The thing with people back here and how my fork got burned down was there was a fucking, um, what you call that? A motherfucking, uh, a dry spell. And a little bit of timber and all that wood was all dry. And you got an oven inside of it and you had the sun beating on it all day. It went up like a candle. So, whatever. So, I'm going to come over here now. And I, my basement flooded, right? So everything I'm not throwing away, 
I'm not keeping it in that basement. That basement is, be I'm painting the floors. We routed the drain. If I continue to live there, we're not gonna have a fucking, a basement full of fucking feces. I have kids that live there. There was shit on the ground. It took us four days to get a plumber out there to do that job. And, uh, you know, when that shit dries, it becomes airborne. The whole house smelled like shit. You know, that's my basement. It leads right to my kitchen. You get down in my basement through my kitchen. It's just foul. And uh, we, we can't live like that. So anyway, it's routed out. It, hopefully it'll be fine. But I'm getting everything. Now that I'm organizing, uh, you know, fuck that. I'll bring a bunch of this shit back over here and throw it underneath here. I think I've already kind of started to. Most of this, though, I mean, like, like this bucket right here. What do we got in here? Okay, we got a couple wood clamps. See, we got some useful shit in here. We got a pair of gardening snips, so you could snip tree branches real quick that you don't want. You got, what do you got in here? Fishing gear, so you can go fishing. There's a fishing pole under there. Uh, you got, this is uh, what I call fire enhancing material that'll help you. And here's wasp and hornet killer. And here's your, uh, Here's your your uh, heavy duty fucking uh, heavy duty fucking what you call that a uh, 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 my fucking uh, sleeping bag and this is some more fire enhancer but the main fire enhancer is this shit let's get this spooled through here maybe so we can spool it out see hopefully it'll spool out without ripping next time. No, it's pretty, it rips pretty easy. Anyway, spool it like that. Hopefully it'll start to not rip. Spool it like that. I saw all these coat hangers. I said, you know what? Coat hangers, you're made of plastic. And that's invaluable when starting a fire. I'm telling you, a couple pieces of plastic will just burn, burn, burn. So we're gonna start a fire here in a little bit. And I bought back this case. Couple pieces of plastic that will be gone in no time. Two, three, four fires, you know, but. Oh, and there's a hammer in here I didn't know about. Awesome, another hammer. You never have too many fucking hammers, eh? So this all right here is like fire fucking helpers. The plan with this was to build a roof on top of this. Are we gonna get that far? Maybe. Are we ever gonna have to live in it? I pray not. I pray no. Cause it's fucked up out here, it's freezing. Nobody, yeah, I do not wanna be without my family. I'm fucking freaking out. I'm freaking out. I really am. Don't wanna fucking lose my house. I live on a river, I like my river. But we're fucking like $5,000 and we need it quick. And our, none of our family has money. Nobody's coming up with the five stacks. Our car just took a shit. And even if I did fix our car, it, it's all fucked up, the whole right side. She said she got kind of like, she kind of got like pushed into the side. And uh, the, the other car took off, which makes me really think that she's, She's not bullshit. She doesn't bullshit me anyway. I mean, I'm like, this only would happen. I mean, it's already over. I'm not gonna be mad at you. It's just a car. I'm just thankful you're okay. Thank God the baby wasn't even there. Let's get 